Rock and roll is about punk rock, right? Bands here don't have managers, they're all pretty much self-managed. For the most part, you're on your own. I've seen plenty of bands get screwed as hard by an independent label as by a major. Songwriting is torturous. Recording is torturous. I mean, there are fun aspects to them, but it's definitely not about fun. It's totally about getting where you want to be, for me, with this band. You have a relationship with these people and sometimes they drive you absolutely mad. You love them. Hello, okay, if you want me to do that, then why am I even in here listening? Like in Chicago, there's lots of bands. There's some of the best bands out there. They go to Detroit, Milwaukee, whatever. They play the Midwestern rock clubs, but still, like during the week, Sarah's working as a bartender at the hideout. She's a waitress over maybe at the Pontiac. She's raising her kid, single mom, you know. But it isn't a punk band like dressing up like punk band on Halloween. It's like mommy's kicking ass with the guitar on any given Wednesday night. Have you ever seen a documentary about? The Rolling Stones, where they interviewed their wives and asked them what they thought, and you know, explored the musicians' relationships with their wives and family. Like, no. I found out I was pregnant on a Saturday night. I'm sitting here going, I'm already pregnant. They're gonna fucking kill me. Your teeth are clenched, and you're going, oh, that's great. I mean, people know how to not get pregnant. She's been not getting pregnant for, you know, what? Well, I don't know when she first had sex, but a long time. There's this conflicting emotion where you're furious, you know, you're just really pissed off because they're ruining your whole world. Are you guys ready to join a band now? <laughs> 